I was giving the illustration, and you are no more, mm -hmm. and you are a good person. Mm -hmm. We believe that as far as you are a good person, you will be closer to Jah mm -hmm. because you are a good person. Mm -hmm. So, what wrong will I make if I need something from God and ask Him through you? Mm -hmm. I would ask to you because I believe that for you, we've, we've been together. Mm -hmm. You feel my pain. You understand me more yeah, because right. we are closer. Yeah, right. So everything I ask you, I believe that you're going to force Jah to do it for me because you are with me. Yeah. Okay. So for us, we don't want the names of our ancestors to be clean. That is why they want. They knew they don't have ancestors. Mm -hmm. They had thieves. They knew, mm -hmm. and they knew we had a good man. So they wanted to do everything for us to stop mentioning the names of our good people and substitute it with just one person that we don't know where he's coming from, right. with Jesus yeah. Christ. So the more you start, you start saying, Jesus, Jesus, oh, well, then yeah. it's like you started saying, so you know truth, I will told man, W. Du Bois, Bukati Washington, he started mentioning their names. And if that happens, slowly we are killing the names of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whenever we pour libation, we pour it in honor of our ancestors, through them, to the, the Almighty. So that is the importance of the yeah. point of libation. Mm -hmm. Now, this is this small this session that you see over here. It's not is the uh, auction site in the slave camp. Mm -hmm. This was where they sorting out this place. Uh, the device put, put in our map uh, to count our teeth and everything. This was where it all happened. Oh, okay. okay. Now, the river you see over here. Yes, sir. The river that you see now is called the As. There are two separate rivers. They are not the same river. Oh. As you can see, during the rainy season, the river flows comes all the way up here. Okay. This is the mark, and you can't even get closer. But because we are experiencing lesser rainfall, that is why it is like this. The one that is moving. The river that is flowing is called River Emisa, which gets its source from the Pura River. The river that we were made to die, that was where this one is getting its source from. What's it called? River Emisa. Yes. And we have this river also to be Nonko Insio. Nonko Insio. Nonko means slave. Insio means river. We were made to wash ourselves in the Nonko Insio, but not in River Emisa because they were scared. That way they made us wash ourselves here, we might escape mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it's moving. Yeah. So they made us wash ourselves in the stagnant one, still mm -hmm. in chains and in shackles. Mm -hmm. So imagine if the river is up here mm -hmm. and you put somebody down here to wash in chains and shackles, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. will drown mm -hmm. and you, you're directly killing that person. Wow. So if that happens, if the river is up, they cut the bamboo tree, mm -hmm. connect one here and connect the other one to the bamboo tree there. Oh and they hang them on a chain so that they wash them with the same bamboo tree. They cut the same bamboo tree, split it open to look like a brush, and they use it to wash them whilst they are in the river. So after washing them, you find that almost all of us have bruises all over our body with blood oozing out. So with all the blood oozing out, we become so weak and we can't even continue any longer. So they drag us from the river and after it develop this footpath to where you are standing. So with all the blood and as weak as we are, they make us go through vigorous exercises in addition, mm -hmm. just to determine our strength. Because it is believed that with all this blood and as weak as we are, for we to perform such an act, that makes us the strongest. Mm -hmm. So after that, they clean all the blood from us and they smear us with palm oil and shea butter just for mm -hmm. us to shine. Mm -hmm. Those of us that couldn't make it, they were killed and were buried right in the bamboo cemetery. This is it. It's called the bamboo cemetery. This is where most of our brothers and sisters who were killed here were buried. So after that, they bring them here. When you look back, you see this podium. Right behind the podium was was a huge baba, baba tree, which is no more. Okay. So they take them and chain us around the baba tree for our auction. Okay. Our brothers and sisters were bought with things that are really not important. Things like useful tobacco, guns, gunpowder, 
And I was reading a book on the transatlantic slave trade, uh, which made a revelation that during that era, even animals were vulnerable as compared to you and I. Mm -hmm. yes. Because one us goes for 15 strong enslaved Africans. Yeah. And that is why when you don't know where you are coming from, sometimes when things happen, you would see it as a new thing. But when you know your past, you know that everything that is happening now has its precedent from the past. You see, whenever you're coming from, you have all these laws that have been enacted to support the rights of animal. Animal rights, animal that, animal that, animal that. Why do you think we always campaign and say Black Lives Matter? Because they are doing the same thing to us in a different way. But because we are not conscious, we don't know where it's coming from. Now, after that, they take them to the next podium for the branding session. This is where they put a metal in fire for it to be very, very hot, stab it at your back, your chest, or your shoulder as a source of identification. After that, those of them that were bought here in the camp will be made to march straight in chains and shackles to the castle, and the ones that were not bought here will be marched to the market to be auctioned out. Now, apart from rituals, this was what happened here in time memorial. In, in rituals, there is a lot of rituals, that we, almost seven rituals that we do here. The first ritual that we do here is we go to the river, but we don't pass through this ark. The reason why we don't pass through this ark, as you can see the description, is the last bath. So immediately you walk through it, then we are testing to the fact that yes, indeed, it's our last bath. But it's never going to be our last bath because our ancestors have dipped their finger in it and it's our turn to dip our finger in it. So we pass through and we go to the river and dip our finger in it as a symbol to tell the world you can never eliminate us, you can never kill us. For us, I've dipped my finger in it, my children will come and dip their finger in it, my children, children, and the generation unborn will come and still dip their finger in it. The second ritual that we also do is to have a covenant with the river by touching the river and just saying to your ancestors, with us. The reason why we are touching the river is, you see you're walking barefooted. Do you know why, in addition, do you know why you're walking barefooted? You've come to, your, to, to the land, your land. You've surrounded yourself to the gods of your land. You've told them, I'm coming to your land, I'm coming to my land, and I need your protection because I'll be walking on that same path. So bless me and protect me through all my journey. So the, so the land now knows you. So the land is ready to protect you whilst you make your journey through this land. But what about the rivers? The rivers don't know you because you've, you've never had a covenant with the river. So when you touch the river, then it means every river that you walked on, every sea that you traveled on, you are already protected because your ancestors have you at their back. After that, the third ritual that we do, uh, for those people, do you believe that now we have people with the same color, but they don't see themselves as African? They call them black devils. That is why Kwame Nkrumah said something. Kwame Nkrumah said, I'm not an African because I was born in Africa. But I'm an African because Africa is born in me. Serious family, serious. We have a lot of people who think before they, they are born in Africa, that is why they can be an African. So some people come and through all the tour, now they realize and appreciate who they are as African. So they have change of mind and they say, wow, I now believe myself as African. Those people, for them, we, have, we give them the full baptism. So I will take that bad side of them and embrace the future, the light. So for them, deep baptism, that is what we do for them. Now we realize that after everything, most of us become so bitter and emotional. But one thing that we should put in mind as Africans, whenever you become bitter, it is easy for you to be defeated. Yes. When you are bitter, you bring everything out because you are so bitter. But when you are a better person, it's very difficult for somebody to get into you because that person will not, never add, will never get things that he needed to get from you. So after our rituals, we realize people become so much emotional and wanted to do something. And we say, no, that is not how to, how to fight. No. We have a better way to fight. Mm -hmm. So that, for that's that, not strategic. Yes, for that, we cross the river to this today. Today, the place is very wet. <laughs> uh, at the previous time, it's very, very dry. So we take them there at a round table discussion we talk about ourselves. Everything that you've been through, somebody else has been through before. Every pain that you're going through, somebody has been there before. So the person, when you bring yours out and the person have this experience, 
we all share it together and teach ourselves how to make ourselves better. So the reason why we do that is we'll be going to this river to say our wishes on gold. So before you say your wish to that river, you have to be like a baby with a clean heart. So after all the roundtable discussion and we come out, we realize all of us will be very, very clean in heart, very, very sober, very, very calm before we go to our ancestors and we ask them for our gifts. So those are some of the rituals. So after the gifts, we come all the way back here again and then we embrace each other and, con and congratulate ourselves for making this journey. So those are some of the rituals that we do when we visit this site. So you, have, you are the, the leader, you have the time. Is it favoring you? Can we do some? Yes, we have time, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. So, we, will go, we, are, we are not going to do the roundtable discussion because the roundtable discussion, you can do it in a bus. Okay. Yes, but we'll be doing it. We'll be doing the covenant, uh, deepening and touching the river. For, 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 and after that, we'll be going to the next river to say our wishes. And after that, we'll be ending it here by congratulating ourselves for coming this far. So, those of us who are African enough to perform such rituals, please, you can follow me. Let's do this.